Since the mid-80s the Soviet and Russian army and also some of the power structures is a wheeled armored personnel carrier BTR-80. Over the past decades, the basic BTR-80 has gone through several upgrades of different kinds. With their help managed to keep the production equipment as well as to increase its performance. The latest upgrade is intended to prolong the operating life of fighting vehicles. The first option is the modernization of the BTR-80 went into production in 1993. And this project was of forced nature. Initially serial BTR-80 was equipped with diesel engines of Kamaz 7403 260 HP in April of 1993 the Enterprise Kamaz there was a fire completely destroyed the engine plant. The Russian army needed new armored personnel carriers, and therefore in the shortest time the project was created, machines with different powertrains. In the same year in the series put the car under the name BTR-80M. She received the Yaroslavl diesel YAMZ-238M2 with a capacity of 240 HP, gearbox YAMZ-236 and entires key 126. The reduction of engine power led to a slight drop in the mobility characteristics. However, replacement of power units allowed to maintain production. In late 1993, Kamaz has resumed production of engines, and soon managed to start production of the BTR-80 in the initial configuration. I was working on a radical modernization of the weapons complex. In the basic version of BTR-80 was carrying a tower with machine guns KPVT and PKT, the characteristics of which were considered insufficient to address all emerging challenges. In 1994, the service received a modernized BTR-80A with cannon and machine gun tower BPPU-1. The BTR-80A differs from the basic machine-reinforced hull design, the corresponding high loads when shooting. Product BPPU-1 built-in monitors the diagram, on the piers of the tower hung the block with a 30M 2A72 automatic gun and 7.62mm machine gun PKT. Next them are boxes of ammunition and smoke grenade launchers. Gun ammunition includes 300 shells, machine gun 2000 rounds. The installation of the new weapons increased range and effectiveness of fire. Machine gun KPVT could destroy manpower and unprotected equipment at distances up to 2 kilometers. While the cannon 2A72 on these distances is able to hit in lightly armored targets, the range of manpower increased to 4 kilometers. Interesting refinement of the weapons complex have been implemented in the project BTR-80S, designed for the Interior Ministry troops. This project involved the use of Tower BPPU-1 with another weapon. Instead of the gun in a swinging block housed the machine gun KPVT. Due to this, managed to get a good combination of comfortable combat module and firepower appropriate to the objectives of the MIA.